Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Hoopa! Good morning. We, what are we doing here today? We're, we're here to hike. We're doing a bunch of hikes today. Like a bunch of them. We're gonna knock all the ones in South Chicagoland area out. We're gonna finish another section today. Uh, yeah, uh, right. Starting with the Iroquois County, County. State Nature Natural Na <laughs> State Natural Area. Iroquois County State Natural Area, which is where we are now, and that's broken, I guess, into two sections, two rectangles on the map, and the first part of the hike is through the Hoopa. Hoopa. For those of you who have a Jaws reference there, Hoopa! Uh, branch, what is this? Hooper Branch Savannah. Yes. The total hike is supposed to be under three miles, two and a half to two three. Point, two point one five. Ooh, even less. Yeah. Okay. Short. Uh, the drive. So, a couple of things here. There's a, there's a couple of reasons why we're killing these hikes out today. One is this is about as far away a hike is as there is in the book. In there, fact, I think it is, it is the farthest yeah, book. It's the furthest one. Yeah. Um, and I would suspect Lake Geneva would be the farthest north. So Lake Geneva, you know, that's basically a eight to ten mile hike. It's really just gorgeous, uh, and you can turn it into a twenty-three mile hike and do the whole lake. Uh, Plus, that, you go through multiple towns. Yeah, yeah, Do right. Um, so that I can see is worth the two hour drive. This, this is very different. So uh, I'm really happy to, on one regard, to be walking here and making the effort to get down here. The other thing is, of course, to provide the video so that others who are considering it can see if this is worth coming to. Uh, do you have, well, at least it, so the wildflowers are just starting to bloom here. Yeah. The book has a long list of wildflowers that are here. Mm -hmm. What are your first impressions so far? I mean, we just got out of the car, but... It's similar to the Thorn Creek, which we did yesterday. And it's pretty cool because it, it is far away from roads and uh, people. A lot of these other hikes are... Um, you're gonna you're gonna hear not city life, but people, noises, I don't know. civilization, civilization. I don't know. So this is cool to get away from everything. I mean, we're really out here. My uh, my impression comes with kind of the understanding of this hike. This area is preserved. I guess for a couple of different reasons. It's a wet savanna, um, which we understand is the driest of the wetlands. Yes. A, a what's a bog? A marsh. Uh, marsh I think the, it's the wettest. The wettest. Kind of cool. Um, and in this particular branch, the hoopa branch, this is all sand we're working on, walking on. Yeah. And apparently there was a glacial lake. 14, 13, 14,000 years ago that subsided and left all the sand behind. And uh, we're gonna get some dunes here at some point. But this is, if you just kind of pause and look around or don't pause, this is supposedly pretty close to the way the natural savanna and the natural land of, of Illinois was. And I don't know, I mean, we, we, so many times we talk about open prairies and we've hiked so many different prairies. This does not feel like a prairie. This does not feel like any of those at no, all. Right. The closest thing I can relate this to is that long 15 mile hike we went on at Indiana National. Yeah, Glenwood okay. Dunes. Yeah, yes, exactly. Oh, good, good. That's not so far away from here either. But, you know, there is sand, a little bit of sand on the ground, but still like plants, vegetation, like. Uh-huh. But I like this because it's, uh, you have a floor, like you could see wagon trains making their way through this. Mm -hmm. 
but it's not open. There's trees. The other thing is coming here, you, this is really out of the way. You know, it's the highway to the county road, to a smaller county road, to a smaller county road, to quite literally a dirt road. And so the final two miles of this drive is on gravel. In the process, it is flat. It is everything that Illinois has, been, has come to be known a flat farm. And we can see as far as the sun. Last night coming in, we took a photo of the sun set, which was just gorgeous. And, uh, you know, you can see as far, literally as far as the sun, because yes. it's so flat. There are like no hills. But to see how much of this land, this is what was converted. Mm. So imagine this everywhere that we just saw. It's cool. That all that has been converted into farmland. Mm. Some of it was, you know, prairie. Not all of it had trees, but you know, I can't, I can't see the horizon here, obviously, because we have trees. Mm -hmm. So that was my big impression on the way in is what is this going to be in the middle of all this farmland? You know, mm -hmm. How can this be special? And uh, it is. And, <laughs> and it is. Um, yeah. All right, we'll, we'll hopefully catch you when we're at the dunes. We are at the top of one of the handles or one of the weights of the barbell the author describes this hike as a barbell hike top of hooper top of hooper we're at the hoop of hooper hoopa uh we are finding a lot of new plants uh, if you look down we've seen these before uh it's like a little pine forest down there uh don't we don't know what you've any seen them called. before here at this hike well, I've seen these before in other hikes, too. Oh, um, I haven't really noticed these before. Okay. Not in the size that they're yeah, showing a, up here. I would agree. This is a, a large cluster. Clump. Uh, and then, I guess, if there are dunes, per se, this is this is the where we're claiming that they might be. Uh, but this is a great stand of... One of the two main trees that he talked about. <laughs> An oak. I don't know. It's kind of a pear shaped leaf. Yeah. Well, this is definitely a simple hike. Um, I would suggest bringing, if we were better prepared for this hike, I would bring a plant book. Because there's no connectivity. We are in the middle of True. nowheresville. Yeah, you're not gonna have your phone. Yeah, so uh, you got to bring paper. I would bring you know, at least a paper guide to the plant types that are mentioned in the book. Tree guide. Wear pants. Wear boots. Yeah. I. S you really want to draw right now, don't you? <laughs> Well, I would say one thing, if anybody from this um, nature reserve, preserve is listening, uh, a bench. I would put one bench, at least like right there. Mm. Uh, it is kind of hard to sit back and draw if you're sitting on the ground. The ground is very much alive. Alive. <laughs> yeah, there's spiders. All right, we are starting the second section. Uh, just a quick logistics issue. Coming off of the parking parking uh, eight, eight yep. parking uh, trailhead eight, uh, and there's a, just a ton of trailheads. I assume there are this many because of hunting season. Um, but we're coming off of trailhead eight. There is a, a outhouse here. There's a path that goes along the road that we drove in on the dirt road. Um, that we walked down erroneously because we didn't think there'd be two parallel paths, just never crossed our mind. I think they're ATV paths versus hiking trails. 
Well, this is a hiking trail. Whatever, whatever the reason, the point of this video is to say you got to walk further in. Don't just take the first trail that's against the the road. This this is it's you know an extra fifty feet to get to this point. Yeah. So we made a wrong turn. Alternatively, uh, you know these a lot of these hikes are counterclockwise. You could theoretically do them clockwise and uh, not have this issue at all. We just go straight and come back. I just saw a spent shotgun shell. Really? Yeah. I just saw a massive mosquito. Oh, all right. I don't know which one, one's better. One, one <laughs> takes care of the other. Yeah. Uh oh, they both draw blood. Yeah. Hey. So we're thinking of trail names. Yeah, I don't want to say anything on on camera right now. I'm just bringing up the conversation as an interesting conversation. Comment below what your favorite trail name is or what you think our trail names should be. That is a fantastic idea. We are halfway through this portion of the hike. Uh, these crossroads, cross paths, uh, we've definitely had a hard time staying on key. It should be pretty simple because we're just taking a left at every first intersection. Yeah. Going counterclockwise, but uh, it's still somewhat confusing and uh, our watches are not... We got to learn how to deal with that because our maps we can't our watch has like I mean these are the Garmin's they're just fantastic They tell us everything but in this particular case North south east and west was a little confused it was a little blurred mm -hmm. and that blurriness Meant that we had to zoom out on the map to get better bearings and we couldn't figure out how to zoom out on the map Within the hiking program So we're gonna have to find that out yeah, within the hiking activity. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll do that in the car when we get connectivity again. What were you thinking? You were standing there for a while. I was looking at the bird. Oh. It's a very tiny bird and, and it went completely upside down on the branch. Like <laughs> like barrel rolled around the Yeah, it was like like a bat. <laughs> this has gotta be days old. The leaves are still pretty Pretty strong. Uh, uh, that is a big obstacle. I mean, obviously, we'll get around it, but uh, I tell you, that's not 90% air. That's a golf reference. I think we're going to have to crawl. Yeah. All right, well, we're on film, so let's. Let's get a crawling. Mm. Oh, the ground here is very suspect. Well, I don't really want to crawl. Well, don't get on your fucking knees. Just crouch. Yeah, I don't see any giant spider webs, so I'll do. I'll go first. All right, you can go first. Then I'll hand you the camera so I ooh, watch out. Boy, this is athletic, huh? Wee! Do -do 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 wee! How low can you go? Pretty much. Wow, I don't is that any that's not an easier way. Put your hand down on there. What? You can Use your hand to get down. Yep. Yep. I don't want to scratch my back. Ah. Whee. That was a big tree. All right. So, at the risk of really looking like a couple of fairly inathletic people, or a little more athletic than that looked like. I'm nervous about my back because I just had some stuff oh, with, yeah. with stitches and cuts. No. I don't want to scrape that off. Uh, Dad got mauled by a bear. Yeah. 
I got an hour and 10 minutes for the whole thing, 2.6. Yeah. Okay. We obviously stopped and smelled the roses every now and then. There are a lot of roses to smell. Yeah. All right, so this is the Iroquois County State Natural Area. Area. So if you're by here, check it out. The, uh, the Hooper section by parking lot eight is worthwhile. But if you're in Chicago looking for a quick hike just to get outside, we got you covered on some other ones. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. This is short for the, for the drive. I would say, just environmentally speaking, it's not worth the gas fumes that you're creating. However, we're doing a bunch of them, so if that's what you want to do, do a bunch of these today, come out for a day like we are, that totally would be worth it. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.